Welcome to Dr. Zahir Math YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. In today's video, I'm going to talk about degree of the differential equation. In the last video, I discussed about order, linear, non-linear differential equations. Okay, and but today's video, I'm going to discuss about how to find the degree of a differential equation. I'll walk you through each step to make it easy to follow. Make sure to take notes on the important points. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any questions or feedback in the comments below. Okay, don't forget. Let's start MA203 Elements of Differential Equation. How to find the degree of the differential equation, right? First, let us study the definition of a degree. The degree of a differential equation is the highest power, okay, degree of the differential equation is highest power of the highest to order derivative. What do you mean by highest power? Power means, you know, which is, for example, like this, x square, this is going to be the power, okay, 2 is the power, right? And highest order derivative, what do you mean by highest order derivative? Let me give an equation, for example, d square y by dx square plus dy by dx, okay, plus y is equal to, for example, sin x, okay. If I give a differential equation like this, what will happen now? So, let's say the order of the differential equation. In the last video, I taught about order of the differential equation. What is the order of the differential equation? Highest derivative in the differential equation. Which is the highest derivative? This is dy by dx. This is first order derivative. And this is second order derivative, okay, because d square y by dx square. The highest order derivative is it's 2. So, therefore, order is equal to what? 2. So, according to me, the highest order derivative is this one. For this one, what is its power? The power is going to become what? 1. So, this is called the degree of the differential equation. Let me explain again. What is the degree of the differential equation? It is the highest power of the highest order derivative. It means what? First, you need to find the order. After finding the order and in that particular term, you are going to find out the power. That is called degree of the differential equation. Not only this, you should look after some more points. What is the second point? The equation is free from fractional powers or roots of the derivatives. The equation before you are finding the order, it should be free from fractional powers and roots. What do you mean by fractional powers? For example, 3 over 5, for example, 1 over 2, which is square root, and for example, 1 over 3, for example, 2 over 7, something like that. So, this is called fractional powers. What do you mean by roots? It can be square roots, that is going to be power half. It can be cube root, it can be 1 over power 1 by 3, power 1 by 3, okay? It should be free, it means... The differential equation should not contain any square roots, any cube roots, any power 3 by 5, power 1 by 3, power 2 by 7. It means what? All the derivatives are written as polynomials. What do you mean by polynomials? We already studied in 001. Polynomials means x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. This is a polynomial, right? So it means power is 3, power is 2, power is 1 and power is 0, right? So these things should be there. So, I have explained by words also. Just look here. Free from fractional powers or roots. This means the derivative dy by dx should not have square roots, cube roots or fractional powers. That is dy by dx square root, dy by dx power 1 by 2, something like that. So on. Not only this. And the second point which I told you is all derivatives are written as polynomials. So, this means that what do you mean by polynomial? It should have dy by dx the whole square. It should have d square y by dx square the whole cube. Or dy by dx the whole cube. Something like that. All the powers must be numbers. Without being the functions. All these things. This already I told you. Non-linear differential equations. And 1 over dy by dx should not be there. Why? If I take it to the numerator. It will be going to the power as what? dy by dx to the power of what? Minus 1. So not allowed. We cannot able to find it. We need to free from this power minus 1. Okay, keep in your mind. Right, let's go to the steps. What steps I need to follow 
Dr. Zahir to find the degree of a differential equation. Step number one, you are going to find the order first. Step number two, you are going to find the degree. Order, I already put a last video to check, okay, how to find the order, right. I already closed the answers for this one, right. Now I have given an equation. What is the equation? d square y by dx square plus 3 times dy by dx the whole square equal to 0. So now I need to find the order and I need to find the degree. I need to find, write the reason, okay, right. So let me, the question is what? Find the order, okay. Find the degree, okay. Teacher, without order, can I find degree? No way. So first we need order. Teacher, with the, just finding order without degree? Yes, that is possible. But for degree, you need order, okay. For degree, you need order. For degree, we need order, but for order, no need degree, okay. Let's go to this example. What is the differential equation? This is d square y by dx square, okay, plus 3 times dy by dx, the whole square is equal to 0. So, this is the second order. This is the first order whole square. dy by dx is the first order. First order whole square. Keep in your mind, this is not d square by dx square. Keep in your mind, all of you, dy by dx, the whole square is not same as d square y by dx square. Keep it in your mind. Totally, it is different. Okay. This is first derivative answer. You are taking square. This is the second derivative. Both are not same. Okay. Right. So, this is first order derivative. It's second order derivative. So, it means what is your order first? Order is 2. Okay. So, order is equal to 2. Now, we are going to find the degree of the differential equation. What are you we are going to find? Degree. What is the definition I gave you for degree? Highest to power in the highest to order derivative. So, what is your highest order derivative? This is your highest order derivative. Okay. What is its power? The power is 1. So, degree is equal to 1. So, order is 2. Degree is 1. I have, reason, I have written the reason. The highest derivative is d square y by dx square and its power is 1. Let's go to the next example. Look at here. d square y by dx square the whole cube. dy by dx equal to 5. Twice times. Okay. Right. What is the order of this differential equation? This is the first order. This is a second order. What is the definition of the order? Highest derivative is called order. What is the highest derivative? 2. Right. And for that highest derivative, what is the power? Power is going to become 3. So therefore, the highest derivative is d square y by dx square and the power is going to become 3. Okay. Right. Let's go to the last question. y dash plus y square. What is y dash? Which is dy by dx plus y square is equal to 0. What is its order? Order is the derivative. Okay. Highest derivative. This is the only one. So order is equal to 1. What is its power? Power is also going to become 1. So the highest derivative is y dash and the power is going to become 1. You can write 1 or 0 1. I hope it is clear. Now I am going to give you one simple example. How to find the order and degree. How to find the order and degree of the differential equation. Right. First I need to find the order. What did I say? The differential equation should be free from, okay, free from what? Square roots, free from radicals, something like that. We have square root. Let me start this question. dy by dx square root is equal to x square. Simple example I have given. So now I cannot find the order because the differential equation must be free from square roots, cube roots, radicals, blah, 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 so on. Okay, right. So to, to remove the square root, what should I do? I should square the differential equations both sides, right? So here it's dy by dx, right? And here it's x square. So when I put squares both sides, what happens? This will become dy by dx because square root will go away. This is equal to x power 4. Clear? Right. Now let's go for what is the order of the differential equation, right? What is the order of the differential equation? So order means what? Highest derivative. Order means what? Highest derivative. What is the highest derivative which is given in this equation? dy by dx. So what is its dy by dx order? 1. So order is equal to 1. And what is the degree of the differential equation? 
that power is going to become the degree. So what is that power? That power is equal to 1. So order is 1, degree is 1. So look here. In the beginning itself, we cannot do here. You should do some more steps to make it free from square roots. Then after that, you have to find the order and the derivative, sorry, order and the degree of the differential equation. Okay, right. That's all how to find the order of a differential equation and degree of the differential equation. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment or ask me directly in the class. Please, my dear, like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for more videos related to differential equation MA203. Bye-bye. See you. Take care.